What's up, YouTube? Andrew over here with Nautilus Spearfishing. Today we're going to talk about does camo matter when it comes to wetsuits and hunting. Now, it's a topic that has been discussed through many platforms, different forums, different videos, etc. But today I'm going to give you guys what I believe to be a pretty darn uh, concrete answer when it comes to, uh, you know, camel. Does it have to be hyper realistic? Can it be teddy bears and fucking rainbows on your, on your suit? Is that, gonna, is that gonna work? As long as it's something that's gonna break up your pattern, I think, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna do the job effectively. Uh, the other way I see it is that, you know, fish, they got a lot of other senses besides sight. They can smell you, they can pick up vibrations in the water. So does the camo have to look super, you know, in depth with what the surrounding is? It's not like you're deer hunting or doing stuff like that. You know, it's, it, it's a different kind of world down there, you know? And the way I see it, the more I've stood out, meaning the more my wetsuit, my snorkel, my fins have stood out in the environment that I've been in, the more successful I've been. Um, of course, there's a pro how you approach the animal. Uh, are you calm in your movements? Are you fluid in your movements? Uh, are you jittery? So there's, you know, the, the approach is obviously very important, but let's say we have two people, one wearing a camel wetsuit, one wearing a wetsuit that stands out, that's really bright colors and stuff like that, and another one that's just an all black suit. As long as the person has the same approach, what I have seen is that the more you stand out, the more the fish have really kind of been curious about what you are. And fish are curious by nature. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't think there's a big difference between camel prints and the environment you're in. Uh, it's really more in how you approach the animal. The only thing that I've been able to see being in this industry for about 15 years, and me myself, not just being in the industry, but being an actual spear fisherman, uh, and a, you know, uh, it's kind of almost like a placebo effect. If you feel good wearing the wetsuit that you want, you're probably going to be more confident in the water. You're probably going to approach the fish, you know, more stealthy just because you feel good in what you're wearing. It has to do, you go look at all the sports out there. If the athlete feels good in what they're wearing, more than likely they're going to perform better as well. And ultimately, I'm going to leave you with that thought. So you got a lot of different camos here. We've got blue, green, black, red, you know, aqua, and all these different prints, guys. Some look super hyper realistic where it blends in perfectly to your environment. Does that mean it's the best wetsuit? Probably not. But if you like it, then it is the best wetsuit. So at the end of the day, go with whatever print it is that you like, that you feel good. Uh, and more than likely, you're probably going to have, you're going to start shooting more fish. I, I don't believe the camel matters in the sense that you need to blend into your environment. I, I feel like I've proven that wearing, you know, a blue wetsuit, white snorkel, you know, uh, white rails on my fins, and I've shot more fish in murky water with that bright suit, so, you know, something like that, that ice camel suit over there, than I have with a green camel suit, brown camel suit. So at the end of the day, I do not think camel uh, does matter too much, but it's more in the approach and how you feel wearing the wetsuit that you have. So at the end of the day, guys, pick whatever print, pick whatever camo you like, and that's a wetsuit that's best suited for you. Peace. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one.